everybody, um, this is night two, um, of Dogfather 12 Days of Christmas. Um, so today I would love to introduce you to my new baby brother. This is Flint. Um, so you can get a good, good look at him. He's very, 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 very comfy right now. Um, this is my new baby brother. Um, I wanted to introduce you to him. Well, we were going to have him last night in, in our reading, but he had to get fed. So, we were going to have him today. Um, so, that's what I wanted to say. Bye, everybody. All uh, right, you ready to do the reading? You, I hope you love our, our joke. But our joke. We're not. We're our, not doing I mean, jokes. Our frosty book. Frosty the snowman. I hope you really love it. Thank you. All right, you ready? Now let's see if we can set this thing down and see how it kind of turns out. Oh boy. I thought I was talking about like the other frosty book. Oh, I'm sorry. This one's got bigger print for old man here. All right. You ready? All right. So she just nailed that, right? Yeah. Killed it. Um, I was reminded to do a little bit of a disclaimer for Frosty the Snowman. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff be said about what you want to call it, Christmas songs and all that political stuff. I'm not with that. So he's smoking a cigar or a pipe, right? Smoking a pipe. He doesn't wear any pants. Deal with it, right? There's not much we can do about that. This thing was wrote circa a long time ago. Yeah. By this this one's by Steve Nelson and Jack Rollins, illustrated by Sam Williams. It's not my fault or Roxy or Flint's fault that Sam didn't draw pants on him. Right? It's nobody's fault. Except for Sam's. Yeah. But that's not us. We're not about that life, right? Nope. Alright, here we go. Frost, I'm not gonna sing this, by the way. I'm just going to read it. You good with that? Just read. <laughs> Frosty the Snowman was a jolly, happy soul with a corncob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Uh -huh. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. You don't even care about the pictures, do you? Don't even care. Daddy, I'm trying to show <laughs> that he's okay. Oh, he's good. He's just sleeping. He's happy. Yeah. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. When they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Hopefully they can see the pictures. If not, then you can just disregard what I said beforehand. Oh, Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. And the children, and the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. See, we went with the big print on this one. We have another version, but oh boy, can't read it too well. Put your foot down, please. Frosty the Snowman knew the sun was hot that day, so he said, "Let's run. We'll have some fun now before I melt away." You gonna make it? Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand, running here and there and all around the square, saying, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town, right to the traffic cop, and he only paused a moment when he heard him holler, stop! Sorry, Flint. That was almost on me. He did? I'm sorry. Yeah. He's not happy now that you scared him. Oh. For Frosty the Snowman had to hurry on his way, but he waved goodbye, saying, Don't you cry. I'll be back again someday. I'm so happy you're going, Frosty Daddy. <laughs> thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump. Look at Frosty go. 
Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, over the hills of snow. That's it. Frosty the Snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. All right. Bye, guys. I hope I'll see you t tomorrow night. Bye. Night two of 12 for Dogfather's Christmas reading. Oh, no. The Dogfather's 12 Days of Christmas readings. We got to do that hashtag, right? That hashtag. We're living that life. <clears throat> Stick it up on the camera. Don't knock it over. Holy moly. I hit the